So, both my parents are from different ethnicities, uh, two different countries, and you know, I grew up in America, and I've seen a very interesting mesh of people from all, all sorts of backgrounds. And I like diverse music, and hip-hop to me has always been a diverse thing. West Coast music doesn't sound like, you know, Houston music. Houston music doesn't sound like Midwest music. Midwest doesn't sound like East Coast. It doesn't sound like, you know, Spanish hip-hop. It was hard to gain acceptance at first. Everyone's like, oh, this guy's not black. Oh, automatically, he's white, which is cool, but I, I'm not. I think I represent kind of the people who are on the outside looking in. Oh, what? Yeah, beautiful man. Thank you, man. I feel like the people in the coming up next. A lot of, like, square Jewish kids who are like, who like my shit, and they're like, yo, we're the bad rebel, you know, kids too, who don't want to go to Hebrew class or something like that. Then I get like, I get a lot of Latino fans in general who fuck with me tough. I never felt accepted by like one one group of people, really, when I was growing up, but now I'm getting embraced by everybody. I think that should be the norm. I think the beautiful black women should be fucking, you know, the Chinese homie. <laughs> or like, or, the, or you know, the Mexican homeboy from Downey needs to have a white girlfriend, you know? Why not? What the fuck? We're just people. People think because if you grow up in a different social background, economic background, or this and that, that that makes your struggle more valid and it makes it more important than the next man's. It, it doesn't, you know, everyone has a story to tell. You know, whether it be the struggle or whether it be love or hate, depression. You never know who you're gonna affect and you never know what the next stranger's going through. Sometimes I sit like, when like I'm traveling at an airport, I always think to myself, like, as everyone's walking by, where's that person going? I wonder what that person's about to do. Because I, th I find it fascinating, that, like, I'm seeing you in, at an instance, and that'll probably be the only time I ever see you in my life. But you have destination to be in. You don't need to be super hood to be inspired or be a particular type of person. The environment of life is enough. There's enough content material there. I think people have to kind of remove themselves from that bubble. Shout out to Mix Lee. The power of diversity, cause you know your boy, you know, got a little bit of a little bit of this and a little bit of that and um, and I'll be making love to all sorts of women.